The announcement to suspend Judge Tunoi and former tribunal came Tuesday afternoon, less than 24 hours after the first one that was dismissed by many as unconstitutional. The tribunal will be chaired by renowned legal practitioner Sharad Rao, who vetted and cleared the judge whose character is now in question. On the tribunal, he will be sitting alongside Judge Rosalind Correr, retired Justice Jonathan Havelock, Judith Guserwa, James Cabrera Gashoka, Abdul Rashid Abdullahi Hussein, and George Munji Wakuha. The tribunal has its work cut out. Within the next 14 days, it must serve Judge Tunoi with a hearing notice. It will then draw up a list of the allegations against each subject of investigation together with a summary of the evidence in support of the allegations and shall serve the document containing the allegations and the summary of evidence on Judge Tunoi. The hearing shall be held in private unless the subject under probe chooses to have the hearing in public. The decision from the tribunal shall be delivered in public within 14 days after the conclusion of the hearing. The law, however, allows the tribunal to extend these timelines with justifiable reasons. <laughs> The decision to form the tribunal comes amid criticism from a cross-section of observers who contend that the manner in which the Tunoi case has been handled is questionable. The Judicial Service Commission is a commission under Chapter 15 of the Constitution. It is not a department at the office of the President. And therefore, the right person to know who are judges serving judges in Kenya, sitting judges in Kenya, is not the office of the president, is the Judicial Service Commission. Earlier, the opposition had criticized the decision taken yesterday by the office of the president. In appointing a tribunal to investigate a judge, the president does not act in his capacity as the head of government. He acts as the head of state, a mandate donated to him by the people of Kenya. In Parliament, the conduct of the chief legal advisor to both the president and the government was discussed. The divided house criticized and supported Gidu Mugai's performance as advisor in equal measure. The president of the Republic of Kenya has a serious legal advisor by the name of the Attorney General and many others that are pinned from public coffers. And as we sit here, we always continue seeing the provisions of this constitution being violated because of wrong, either wrong or device by the advisors to the president. Speaker, we must deal, we must be guided on how to deal with public servants who, by, who are on taxpayers' payroll and are constantly engaging us into war of things where we should not do. Gidu sat in both the special committee that built the Tunei case leading to the formation of the tribunal and was part of the Judicial Service Commission when it made the decision to refer the case to the president. Yesterday, however, it looked as though he had not properly advised the president when a decision not to form a tribunal was reached. Tunoi is one of the pioneer seven judge bench at the Supreme Court. He is also in court currently challenging a Judicial Service Commission decision to retire him at the age of 70. But even as the president moves to correct the wrong and avoid a constitutional crisis and potentially embarrassing lawsuits, many observers are already pouring cold water on his choice of a chairperson to chair the tribunal, having chaired the judges and magistrates' voting board. Ken Mijungu, NTV.